Hey friends, welcome back to Mimi's Mixed Bag. If this is your first video of mine, thank you for stopping by. Today I'm bringing you a project that I saw on Facebook. I'm in a, several crafty groups and you may have seen it yourself and I really don't know what to call it other than a sassy lady flower pot head. I think they're so funny. They're definitely a conversation piece and I wanna make one for my back porch. And what she's made out of is a clay pot. I found mine at Lowe's for less than $4 and it's the eight inch, I think it's 8.25, something like that. That's the size. And she's also wearing sunglasses and I found that the eight and a half is about as big as you can make it with sunglasses. Now she's also got a head wrap on, a head scarf, and I found it easier just to go to Dollar Tree and get one of these colorful chiffon scarves and I'm gonna make that her head wrap. Now I've seen some with or without earrings you could use little faux flowers, these little flat back diamond things, buttons, whatever you have. Now my scarf just happens to have some little orange tassels on the corners. I think I'm going to add those to my earrings. I think that'll be cute. So she's kind of like the, the more gaudier the better. Now I've seen some people put live plants in theirs but I just happen to have a couple little fern faux fern bushes that I'm going to stick in mine for her hair. But I can always add a plant later. To create her face you can use paint or markers, just whatever your artistic ability is. I'm gonna use both, but the first thing I need to do is paint the whole pot a flesh color, and I'm gonna use the Apple Barrel Sun-Kissed Peach. I'm gonna give it a couple coats, and then I'll be back. All right, I've got my pot coated in the flesh color. I just did a little swipe inside. You're not gonna be able to see that anyway. All right, so now I'm ready to move on to my eyes and my glasses. All right, I stretched my glasses on the pot where they're about where they need to go, and I'm gonna take a pencil and put like a little dot so I can know where to draw my eyes. Now this is basically what I'm going to do. I tried to keep it simple and I've seen it done a couple different ways. I've seen it where both eyes were closed with the eyelashes but I kind of like this winking look where one eye's open and one eye's closed. So I'm just keeping it a simple little winking eye and you'll still be able to see it a little bit through the sunglasses. And Now I'm going to stretch my glasses back onto the pot and there's not a lot of wiggle room with these because they, they fit pretty snug so I'm just going to put a spot of hot glue on each end and maybe across the top of the glasses. All right the next thing is a nose for her face and I failed to mention this at the beginning that I had a one inch wooden bead. It had a hole through it so I took some wood filler and filled in one side and I'll hot glue the side that still has the hole in it but I also read where somebody cut down a dowel rod and rounded it on the end where they had a long nose. You can make it whimsical exactly exaggerated, whatever look you want to go for, but this is what I'm going to use is a one inch wooden ball and I'm going to hot glue it right there in the notch of the glasses. All right, the next step is I'm going to take a red permanent marker and do some red lips on her. I just took my phone and Googled red cartoon lips and you'll have lots of images to choose from and just kind of copy it best you can. If you don't want teeth, then just do something like that. But that's a pretty simple design where you can probably sketch it out, do it red, and then outline it in black. So I'm going to try to keep it as simple as possible. All right, I've got her lips on there. I just copied what I could find on Google Images. All right, now I'm going to take my actual blush makeup, give her a little Estee Lauder blush. I'm just doing it like this, and just like you're putting blush on someone. I'm afraid if I use paint or something, it might be too much, and here I can really control how much blush I put on her cheeks. And the real makeup was the perfect technique. That way I didn't get too much, and it just gives her the perfect rosy cheeks. Now I'm going to tie up her little headband. Band. Using this Dollar Tree scarf, I'm going to cut it down to about 38 inches. Okay, let me show you what I did with the headscarf. I just folded it in half and started it and draped it around to where it just covered up the back of the sunglasses. Let me show on them both sides. And then just brought it up and tied it right above on her, like her forehead and then cut off the extra. And that put a big bow right there in the front of her head. I'm gonna straighten it up just a little bit. And then all I have left to do is add her some earrings. These are just some little flat back embellishments. I, they may have come from Dollar Tree. And then I cut the tassel off of the scarf and I'm gonna hot glue it so it looks like a little dangling earring. I'm gonna finish her out and show you what it looks like. Okay, y'all. Is this not hilarious? 
I cannot wait to put this on my back porch. She is so funny looking. I love her. Look at her face. I tell you what this reminds me of is you need to Google Mike Myers Saturday Night Live Coffee Talk. There's a skit that he did for years. It's these old ladies that are huge Barbara Streisand fans and it is hilarious. But that's who this reminds me of coffee talk from saturday night live so i hope you enjoyed this little project i hope you'll make yourself a sassy lady flower pot head kudos to whoever created this funny project thanks so much for watching and i will be back in a few days bye bye